This is the first lesson in the series of lessons about database optimization and today we are going to talk about the structure of database and basically I will show you uh, some things you can do in Django in order to structure your database uh, in some particular way. So there are two things that are really important right now and this is indexes and table spaces and I will not really go uh, really deep into this uh, indexes and table spaces because it's not a Django topic it's more of a database topic so uh, basically the first advice I would give you is actually uh, you know watch some lessons about databases how databases are structured and things like that uh, because in this lesson I will, I will just show you how to actually use this knowledge and how to use uh, indexes and table spaces in uh, Django so uh, this is one thing uh, the second thing is uh, Django does not create table spaces for you so basically if we uh, want to want to specify that some uh, fields uh, should be stored in some particular table space then we actually need to create this table space in our database and uh, basically the third thing is that not every database actually supports table spaces for example so I use uh, I use Postgres uh, databases so uh, Postgres supports them but as I remember for example my SQL doesn't support uh, table spaces as I remember I'm not sure you should also check it out and so all of the things that are related to actually uh, database backend I will not go through uh, I, I will not go through these things today because uh, as I said it's not really a Django topic it's database topic and if you are interested in some particular uh, database backend then you should go for it and try to understand its structure and how to use it and here I will just explain to you how to actually uh, use uh, indexes and table spaces how to define them so basically i have uh, here the example i commented out all the things that are important and let's uncomment it and i will explain it so basically if we have a uh, some particular field i know let's imagine for example that it's the field email and it's it's unique and and we know that we are really frequently uh, trying to get the user the administrator the administrator uh, object using the email so uh, we do it very often we very often uh, saying like something like administrator objects get and we specify some particular email and if we do it very often it's very uh, uh, it would be very helpful for us to define the index on this field and basically if the field is indexed uh, every time we actually filter by email or the database uh, will do its operations quicker than usual so if you want to index some particular field we just say uh, in the options db index equals true and the same goes for for example for a second name though it's not unique but we uh, for example uh, quite often uh, filter by second name 
and uh, to, to, to make this filtering uh, quicker uh, we need to actually define that this uh, field should be indexed to and we do it in the same way so right now uh, if you have some other not indexed fields uh, uh, this indexed fields will be saved in the same table space so it will be saved in the default administrator table space and if you want to uh, change the default table space we need to use a class meta we need to use meta options and here we defined we define that db table space equals tables and at this point uh, both of these indexed uh, fields will be saved in a tables table space if we have some particular fields that shouldn't be saved there if there are some fields that should be saved in some other indexes we can also define it in uh, meta options so here we say indexes and we define that for field second name we will actually use table space other indexes and so right now we can see that the first email field will be saved in the tables table space because uh, this is the default table space for our fields the second name field will be saved in other indexes table space as we also defined in the meta options and one more thing uh, that we can use uh, we can uh, for example define uh, some particular table space not only in the meta options but also in the field options so here we define that this field will be saved in a table space indexes and basically this is how it works and we can also for example define the default table space in the settings and for that we have this setting default index table space indexes so for example we can omit that and save it here and right now basically nothing changes we have this uh, default index table space for all the models so email will be actually saved in this tables table space and this is how you do it in Django this is how you define indexes and table spaces and also one more thing to mention if your database doesn't support table spaces then uh, all these options just will be ignored so it will not raise errors but it will not help you anyhow so uh, be careful and use databases that actually have table spaces and first actually define table spaces in database backend and only then define it in Django.